Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm over here with Elizabeth Jones from Kroll, Gillis and Cooper. Today we're talking about wills and estate planning, but guess what everyone, it's for younger couples and individuals like me, I'd rather just say I'm the younger person. <laughs> How are you my friend? Doing great. Thank Welcome you. to the show. Okay, let's start to begin with when it comes to individuals, okay? Well, I didn't actually do a will till I came to America. And I did it because my lawyer said, Troy, you don't have a will and you have a home, you had businesses. What's going on? Why is it important for individuals to have a will? Well, it's never too early to begin estate planning, whether you're single, married or children or not. Yeah. Uh, if you're an individual, you're able to have the authority and flexibility to determine, first of all, who will manage your estate upon your death and also who will receive what uh, from your assets. This streamlines the process, uh, reduces tensions between family members later, uh, and also yeah. gives you the peace of mind that, that what you're wanting to happen will happen upon your death. Okay, so at what time should one consider having a will? Someone who's young, for example, you know, in their mid-twenties. Just as soon as possible, because you never know when circumstances might change, and you can always update your will uh, eventually. If you, have, if you already have children, then you can go ahead and provide for a guardian for your children, for instance. That's one of the most important factors. Well, let's talk about that for a moment. Um, how do we determine what a guardian or who a guardian should be and their role? Right. Well, that's something you're able to thoughtfully decide uh, with the use of a will rather than having the court decide if you were unprepared who might name someone you're not exactly you would choose on your own. It should be someone that you think about that has the same, uh, for instance, lifestyle you agree with, someone you values. like your child, right, values, that sort of thing. Some parents prefer to name a two-parent home uh, for the guardians. Uh, you might consider the age, if you're thinking of uh, certain relatives, the age of them and the uh, capability and willingness of the potential guardians to serve. Okay, so what happens with my property and assets if I don't have a will? If you don't have a will, then um, it would pass through intestate succession, meaning just heirs at law. Uh, it could be your spouse, your children. Uh, typically, families with couples would like to leave their assets to their spouse with the intent that the spouse takes care of the children. Um, without a will, um, it might not go as planned. If you have children, then you can name a, a trust. You can create a testamentary trust which takes effect upon your death for your children and that trust would hold all property for your children in it. And would the guardian be responsible for looking after that trust? Well we actually typically re recommend that a trustee be someone different right. than the guardian because it can reduce tension between uh, the person who's serving as the parent, the day-to-day decision-making and a care of the child, the child's living with that person, and then the trustee. The child might look at the trustee as someone standing, for instance, between them and their money and don't understand why yeah. they're saying no and using better judgment, not allowing a child to use a certain amount of, of funds for something. If it's, a if it's a different person than the guardian, provides better checks and balances. I got you. Where do we stand in the state of Mississippi if we die without a will? the state of Mississippi will create a will for you basically and oh. that may not be who, who oh, you no. choose. We don't want that. Um, it goes through your whichever heirs you have at law uh, and there's usually your spouse, children, it can go further out to cousins and so on. So is, it a, is it a daunting expensive process for a young guy? Or young absolutely girl? not. The term estate planning might seem a little daunting yeah. however for a, a young family or young individual typically they'll need a simple will um, and then powers of attorney uh, and health care directives for the will that we're focusing on. Um, I can meet with the client before. I have a, a checklist or questionnaire that allows the client to go through and just casually uh, sit down um, and think about the prospects of who their guardians, trustees might be, who might handle their will, being named their executor, and kind of take inventory of their assets. And they can do that just at a calm time um, and then meet with me yeah. and, and just go on further with that. Well, we appreciate you, Elizabeth. Well, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for coming in. Thank if you, you want to find me. out more information about Elizabeth Jones and maybe your will and estate planning, especially if you're like me, young, and you need to have it all sorted out, give them a call. There it all is up on the screen. Back after this short break.